Assalamualaikum and hi, we are from group 2 and the Had. Our business name is First Buy and Co. Today, we want to present about the business plans. First Buy and Co. consists of 11 members of the group who always give the best commitment. The first line introduced Shahira Rashid, Syed Safwan, Sarah Umaira, Muhammad Alif and Amira Al Next, Wang Wang Li, Nurul Fatiha, Siti Nur Khatija, Emma Zaha, Noi Zatu and the last one, Chai Pei Hi everyone, I am Sarah, so I'm going to proceed with the first part which is 1.0 Executive Summary. The reason for this proposal is to gain awareness and recognition from people for this product as it should be. That's why our group decided to be one of the agents of NZ Crunchy after conducting a few surveys of other brands to sell for our target customers. Speaking of target customer, we have decided to sell NZ Crunchy for University Utara Malaysian students since it's easy to reach customers. We have decided to name our company as First Buy & Co. There are risks that arise during our company process of starting our business, such as deciding what flavor to sell during our first batch. We try to pick few flavors we thought our target customer might like. Luckily, 25 bottles are being sold fast. Unfortunately, 5 bottles cannot be sold due to unpopular flavors. To overcome this issue, in our second batch, we before we place order to the headquarters of NZ Crunchies, we did some advertising through WhatsApp. We changed our business type from all others in stock to all others in pre-orders. This decision has made our company secure financially and helped a lot in reducing waste of unwanted flavors. We will move on to the 2.0 which is about NZ Crunchies. NZ Crunchies is one of Miputra product from the NZ company brand Frozen Industries Denver Heights. This company has registered under Commission Syarikat Malaysia SSM and NZ Frozen Industry as the Denver Heights is a business conducted in sole proprietorship. The main location of this company is located at Jalan Tabana, Industrial Estate Tampui, Johor Baru, Johor. This NZ Crunchies product was first introduced in May 2019. NZ Crunchy's vision is to be snack food supplies, able to be competitive and provide best service in meeting the needs of customers. The mission is to provide clean, halal, pure food in accordance with customers' wishes. This NZ Crunchy's product with two optional additions, which are bottle or in a pouch bag. However, we only sell NZ Crunchy's products that are marketed in a bottle edition, only where it has nine flavors that is roti baka, milky matcha, korean BBQ, and more. That is all for me, next presenter. So for my first part, which is a product description, Yamsi, Yami NZ Crunchies has chosen one product to be commercialized, which is an NZ Snake Crunchies. NZ, NZ Crunchy Snack products have a posh bag version, as well as a bottle version. For our group, which is to sell a, uh, a bottle version due to the, uh, uh, due to the uh, larger content. And then uh, this snack has nine units flavor, which is uh, namely so flaming salted egg, seaweed teriyaki, toast, Korean BBQ, cheese primo, golden salted egg, chocolate supreme, celery chicken floss, and milky matcha. Next is our target market. So basically, our target market business we run a focus on three demographic, which is age between 18 to 25 years old, which is uh, students, and then our income level. So basically, our income level is correlated with our age, which is 18 to 25 years old. And lastly, it's religion. In addition, uh, our products that we provide are products that are guaranteed halal by Jakim and comply. The standards have been set. Next part will be market trend and size. The market trend of the snack food industry in Malaysia is significant. This thing can be evidenced by the, uh, by the drastic emergence of snack products fell, poppy skin, fish skin and so on in the industry. In fact, a variety of innovation which is done uh, to be used as added value in their respective product. Food dislike is considered a favorite side dish by various ethnic groups and society. It is made into a habitual food for snacks when entertaining or relieve work stress for some people. Food trends and situation dislikeness is relevant in the long run. So we have drafted strategies to take advantage of market trends, the snack food industry created present tense. Lastly will be sales promotion mix and strategies. We have used two methods which is advertising and sales. For advertising, we use it through media social like uh, Instagram and WhatsApp and peer connection which is for sales, we use it as key. First Buy & Co is a business partner, business entity. 
first part at the start of their business, the recovery capital of 25,000. As the business is conducted until the 12 weeks of for 3 months, the total capital needs to be increased to 50,000. All service partners are active members. Therefore, they are agreed to divide the profit based on the capital. Now, I will present the partner experience and job scope. Our founder is Nu Shahira. She has experience selling items in platform store on Shopee. Her job scope is make a quality management. Our logistic manager is Zara. She has a diploma in transportation management. She is responsible for inventory control and product shortage. Our financial manager is me. I experience being a financial analyst for two years. My job scope is to prepare a budget and prepare a financial statement. Our marketing and sales manager is Paven. She has been a digital marketer for three years. Her job scope is create an online poster and monitor market trend. Our operation manager is Amira. She has a degree in business administration. Her job scope is coordinate daily business operation and motivate employee to perform at their best. Now I will present the employee remuneration and salary. For the salary, our company decides to give the salary at the end of the month. For EPF, we will deduct 30% from their salary every month. And for per capsule, we also will deduct 2% from their salary in every month. As we know, the both business operation, there are a number of accessory asset requirements. In addition, there are also several types of expected expense they are required with an uh, amount. The total asset requirement thirty thousand ringgit, while the to total expense is eleven thousand six hundred ringgit. Hi, my name is Amira Akila with matrix number two eight four one nine four, and I'll be explaining about the operation and production plan. For first part, the goal to achieve short-term and long-term goals, operational and strategic planning is needed in our company. It was created to ensure that each employee understands their specific tasks and responsibility to ensure a clear path to our business and operational goals. Operational production planning entails the creation and timely distribution of our production assignments and work schedule for individual work position to shops and sections. It is also concerned with output scheduling and ensuring consistent for our production. Next, for the facilities and improvement, our shop is based in University of Ontario, Malaysia. Since all of us are students from UUM, and our shop is open 24 hours from 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. For operational expenditure, we decide to take our stock from HQ in Jitra since it is located near in UUM, so we don't have to pay much in delivery charge and also. We don't have to think much about the packaging since all the plastic, card and development are provided by HQ as well. Following that, we have an operational chart in which we first order stock for the supplier and then we arrange and perform a quality check before proceeding with a product photography and editing. So we set a date and time to launch our product and after we were satisfied with the photo, uh, we launched the product and received an order for the customer. To provide a good customer experience, we distribute and pack the product neatly before delivery to the customer. We believe every business must have their own goals and targets. And in order to achieve that target, we have a strategy and plan such as check and balance between all the members to ensure everyone is on the right path. And not just that, we ensure that every bottle of NZ Crunchies is going through a quality check to provide a great customer experience. And we also create a progress tracker so that it is easier to trace every member's progress. Last but not least, budgetary plan. We have budget for the stockman where we prepare the budget of how many stocks to take from supplier and the amount of stock depends on the demand from the customer. Next, budget for advertising. Making advertisement on Instagram every week to reach high engagement and every member needs to promote in their social media account to ensure we receive more order from the customer. And then, we have budget for giveaway. We create a giveaway contest and lucky draw to attract new customers and keep the regular customer of First Bite Co. And last but not least, budget for staff reward. The most outstanding performers and a higher sale of LZ Crunchies will be rewarded to show our appreciation for all the hard work given. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Hizatul Adawiyah Binti Kapa, metric number 288251. So I'll continue our presentation for our products, NZ Crunchies, on focus sales for the first three months. 
For your information, for instant franchise purchase, we can get as many as 30 jars as our stock and get, can add on as many as you request. At first, we estimate that we can only can sell 25 jars of NZ franchise which is less than the stocks that we got. This is because we consider it at the first stage of our business where we just introduce our product to customer. In the next month, there might be an increase in our sales since there are more customers that have recognized our product and we can request more stock from the supplier. And last but not least, on the third month, we estimate that our sales will increase twice the amount of the first month's sales because we expect that more customers are repeating their order and also more new customers are getting our products. That's all from me. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nurul Fatihah binti Jaffa. My magic number is 287971. For actual sales, we take inventory of 124 units and sell all of product to the customer. We have taken the inventory of 4 batches from supplier for 3 months. For the first batch, we take the inventory on 20 April and start to sell it on 25 April within 1 week. For the second batch, we take the inventory on 19 May and start to sell it on the same day. For the third batch, we take the inventory of 34 units on 24 May and start to sell it on 30 May. For the fourth batch, we take the inventory on 18 June and start to sell it on 21 June. Since our product price is 10 ringgit, so the actual sales that we have record for 3 months is 1,240 ringgit. That's all for me. Thank you. To summarize, we believe that our company will be successful and that we will be able to meet our customers' needs and provide them with 100% satisfaction. Our goal is to address our company in Malaysia. We are optimistic that First Buy & Co will meet its ambitious sales targets and achieve expected overall revenue. We are certain that by providing NZ crunches at an accessible price with variety unique flavor, we'll be able to break the snack market. To grow the number of customers, a successful marketing plan strategy attracts a big amount of involvement. We are required capital and strong commitment from each member of the team to succeed in business. We are also certain that this business will continue to grow at the same time rate as lifestyle advances and technology advancement in the future. We are in one team, will be more passionate in the proposed project and able to compete with other companies. Due to the information that has been presented such as corporate performance, financial situation, and market expectation. We want our business to be an outstanding, excellent, creative, and performing example in the community based on the product performance, quality, service, and value. Our team will ensure that the project is a success and that it continues and achieve our objective in timely manner. Our company isn't particularly large. We are hoping that we will be we will be a success and that we will be able to develop a strong, good relationship with the customer each year.